Hi guys, this is uh, just going to be a closer look at the RGB light uh, hat that uh, from Yaboom that I had bought uh, previously and set up. And uh, so you just, uh, this is going to be a really nice close-up shots and everything uh, of it running and in action. Um, the other one, um, uh, the other video I had was very hard to see because it was in the dark but now we have proper lighting and uh, video to show you exactly what it looks like in action um, so yeah as you can see um, it's uh, the RGB is really nice uh, you can set up to your custom colors and everything I don't have the know-how to actually uh, follow through on it, but you can um, customize the lights and everything. Uh, right now, I just have it set to whatever the random light, uh, old, you know, that they have uh, set up for you. And um, there is two temperature control, uh, temperature one and, and temperature zero. And then there is um, um, RGB uh, as far as well as one final step where you have an auto start. So it starts up when you start up your Raspberry Pi. Uh, this guy here, he is just uh, an audio plug uh, holder. Um, he's a little ninja, and um, he, it, because I'm not using the audio out, I just have him plugged in and just uh, uh, hanging in there. He really doesn't provide any special um, thing or anything like that. He's just a little ninja guy. Um, all right, so yeah, as you can see from the the screen there, uh, this is the best part of the uh, Raspberry Pi hat is the the OLED display, and it gives you really useful information like the, your CPU usage, your temperature, your disk space, and your your CPU, and it's it's all in real time, so you can see uh, how much you know RAM is used in, for example, which is admittedly not a lot of RAM. Um, so yeah, uh, it's uh, it's kind of nice. Um, it, the insulation of the hat is uh, quite easy. Um, you just have to align the pins up correctly uh, for it to take advantage of the power, the five volts, and then the ground, what it needs to do. And um, But it also um, uh, offers an exposed GPIO pins uh, as well, so you can additionally add more stuff if you need to um, use the pins so it's really nice uh, there are little tiny slits for the camera module as you can see there and then also the, ca um, the a slit for the ribbon for your video if you need it access to it I'm just using HDMI and um, well, anyway uh, what else um, yeah the um, I have to say the uh, the R the OLED screen is probably the best part of this uh, hat, and the whole thing was only fifteen bucks, so it's not a a bad deal. <clears throat> I still recommend that uh, for if you're a beginner uh, or you're novice, uh, that uh, you don't. Um, uh, I wouldn't recommend it for you. Uh, it does look cool once you get it up and running, but uh, for someone like myself who doesn't really program or um, you know, follow instruction that closely. It, it was really hard uh, for me to just get it to set up. Um, as you can see, the fan automatically kicks in if it reaches 55 degrees, I think. And then, uh, so once it turns on, it will shut off uh, once it, the temperature is cool, cool enough. And uh, I think it's actually a really nice feature because uh, you're not always uh, using the fan all the time, and also which means it's a little quieter. Although I have to admit, the, the fan is not that much um, noisy at all. Uh, I've, I've used another fan uh, for the Raspberry Pi that was really noisy, so this this fan actually is not noisy at all, so it's a really nice uh, little fan. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the fan. Um, well, anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice uh, thing, uh, 15 bucks. Um, if you can handle a little coding and stuff, uh, go for it.